Hello, I'm Campbell Rutherford, and I am a high school student who loves math. Today, I would like to introduce you to the Freedom Scientific Braille Math Editor. This is a really recent addition to JAWS and I believe Fusion as well. I'm not sure if you can access it through Zoom Text. I'm a JAWS user. Anyway, it's a very recent addition. Um, less, it was added less than a year ago. And it's a pretty revolutionary feature for blind students because it allows you to enter math in Nemeth code on a Braille display, Nemeth code being the Braille math code. And once you have entered it, you can let that math appear in print that is accessible to both sighted and blind individuals on the computer. So we're going to work with this in Word because that's probably the easiest place to apply it. Um, you just have to open the editor, type your Braille, press enter, and it's automatically inserted into your document. In any other situation, if you open the Braille math editor and type something, once you press enter, it's copied to your clipboard and you just have to paste it. But to keep this straightforward, we're going to use Word. So, without further ado, let's get started. Leaving menus, Braille Math Editor demo dot doc slash word edit. All right, so you see I've got my blank document here. We're going to start with some really simple examples and get gradually more complicated, but it's really going to be the same thing each for each example, so I don't think you're going to have any trouble following me. So let's do a number one here. One, period, space. All right. So, let's do something extremely simple. Let's just do 3 plus 4 equals 7. But before we do that, um, you'll want to make sure that your Braille display is either in contracted Braille or has contracted Braille output. And so to do that, you would do dots, uh, dots 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 4. Space. Whoops. Space. I accidentally touched space. Or, you know, yeah, you would just do a dots one, two, four, five, seven chord, or dots one, two, four, five, seven space on your Braille display. Um, I already have this set up the way I need it to be, and I think that command only works with focus displays, so if you have another display, you're going to need to go into your um, JAWS quick settings and change that. Perhaps we can address that another time. So let's go ahead and open the Braille math editor and that is a dots three four six seven chord or dots three four six seven space. Braille math editor equation edit. And that was on my Braille display. So let's just do three plus four equals seven. We're very simple here. Dots three four five six. Dots two five. Dots three four six. Dots two five space. Dots four. Dots one three space. Dots three four five six. Dots three five. Dots three five six. Dots two three five six. Okay, so I went a little slower than I normally would have just now, so you could see the braille come up. It should have appeared on my screen. Um, this is so that parents and teachers can see what their students are doing and assist with any braille issues. So I'm going to press enter and be warned it may um, minimize my window. I don't know why it does that, but it does. <laughs> so um, if it does, I'll just maximize it again. Microsoft Word document, Microsoft Word document, Braille math editor demo. Okay, yeah, it just keeps talking. So yes, it did minimize my window, it looks like. So I'm gonna do a Windows up arrow. Windows up arrow. Okay, I'm going to jump to the bottom of my document with the control end just to make sure. Bottom of file one, math content three plus four equals seven. And you heard it say one for your number one, and then math content three plus four equals seven. And that is exactly how it should read. And it reads perfectly in Nemeth on my Braille display as well. So let's go down another line. Enter. And let's do two, period, space. Okay, 
So let's do something just a little more complicated. Maybe you're in third or fourth grade now at the beginning of the year. Braille math editor, equation edit. Okay, so I'm going to do one and three fourths equals seven fourths. So let's do that. Dots, dot two, dots, dots one, four, five, six. Dots two, dots three, dots two, dots four, dots three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think that's the correct notation for a mixed fraction. Space. Dots four, space. Dots, 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 dots three, four, five, six. Any TVIs watching this who notice that any of my notation is wrong, I apologize. I think this is correct. We shall see if it comes out. Microsoft Word document. Microsoft Word document. Braille math editor demo dot docs. Break windows of arrow. Bottom of file two. Math content one and three fourths equals seven fourths. Woohoo! It is correct. If it wasn't, I could have left arrowed into this and fixed something. Actually, how about for our next one, we do something wrong. So let's go to the bottom of the document. Enter. Let's do number three. Three, period, space. And I'm going to type an equation, and then we're going to pretend that I've messed up, and so I'm going to go in and fix it. So let's open the Braille Math Editor again. Remember, that's our 3467 chord. Or you can do insert space and then plus on your computer keyboard. Actually, let's do that for now. So insert space, space. and plus, or shift equals. Braille math editor, equation edit. All right. So I'm going to write something that's wrong. I would, my intention in this assignment would be to write y equals 3x minus 2. But I'm going to make a mistake somewhere. So let's do. Dot space. Dot dot space. Dot dot two. Dot 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 two or three. Okay, and you'll notice my mistake. Um, let me hit enter. Microsoft Word document. Microsoft Word doc. Bottom of file. Let's see. Two. Three. Math content y equals three y minus two. Yep. So I, when I look at that, I notice that I did y equals three y minus two instead of y equals three x minus two. So what I'm going to do. Probably the easiest thing to do is to jump to the bottom of your document with control end. You may already be there. Bottom of file three. Math content y equals. Yeah. And now I'm going to left arrow a couple times to make sure that I'm actually inside the equation. Two math content. Minus. Okay. So now I'm going to reopen the Braille math editor and it should have my equation there in an editable format. So let's see. Braille math editor, equation edit. Yep, so it has it here. Um, I'm going to try pressing one of my cursor routing buttons to get right in front or behind the Y. So I'm going to backspace on my Braille display. That's one, three, four, five, six. Yep, so I've deleted that Y. I'm going to put an X in instead. That's one, three, four, six. I read that, it says y equals 3x minus 2. That looks perfect, so I'm going to hit enter. Microsoft Word document, Microsoft Word document, Braille math editor, Braille math edit. Okay. Windows of arrow, bottom of file 3, math content y equals 3x minus 2. And as you can see, it reads it perfectly now. I have fixed my error. So now let's go down another line. Enter, 4, period, space. So I think we're going to do just a couple more. Um, let's do the quadratic formula. We're getting a little more complicated here. Um, so I'm going to open the editor again. Braille math editor, equation edit. And for those of you who didn't learn an annoying song in school to help you try to memorize the quadratic formula that's drilled into your brain, we're going to do negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared plus 4ac all over 2a. So let's do that. 
So we're going to do our opening fraction. Dots one, four, five, six. Negative. Dots three, six. Dots two, three. No. Dots two, three. B. Dots one, two. Dot two. Okay. So B plus dots, or minus. Dots three, six. We're going to do our opening square root sign. Dots three, four, five. We're going to do B dots one, squared. Two. Dots four. Dots two, three. Dots five. Plus dots three, four, six. Four, dots two, four, dot one. Dots one, four. Now we're going to end our square root right here. Dots one, two, four, five, six. Now we're going to do our fraction line for all over 2a. Dots three, four. Two dots two, three. Dot one. Dots three, four, five, now six. Now we've ended our fraction. So I'm reading it to make sure it looks right. And I'm going to press enter now. Microsoft Word document. Microsoft Word document. Braille math editor. With the edit. I jump to the bottom of my screen. Bottom of file four. Math content fraction negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared plus four c over two a. Yes, and you can hear how Jaws reads that. It says fraction negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared plus four ac, and it pauses for a moment and says over two a or two a as eloquence says. Um, my Jaws voice. So that is something a little bit more complicated, but as you can see, um, it's still taking it well. So now we're going to, let's see, I'm going to go down. Enter. We're going to do two more. Um, let's do tangent x equals sine x over cosine x. So this is probably late algebra 2, maybe pre-calculus. Um, so I'm going to do, let's see, what number are we? Four, three, bottom of five, blank. Let's do number five. Five period space. Okay. I'm going to open the Braille Math Editor. Braille Math Editor, equation edit. And we're going to do tangent x. Dots, dot, one, dots, one, space. Dots, one, three, four, six. Space. Okay. Equals. Dots, one, space. I'm going to do open fraction. Dots, one, four, five, six. S dots, 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 one, space. And then space x. Dots one three four six. Fraction line. Dots three four. So over cosine x. C dots one dot, dots two space. X. Dots one three four six. Dots three four five six. Equals yeah tangent x equals sine x over cosine x. So let's hit enter. Microsoft Word document. Microsoft Word document. Braille math editor. Braille math editor demo dot dot dash word windows of arrow. Bottom of file five. Math content tan of x equals sine of x over cosine of x. Okay, and it said tan of x. Usually it reads it okay, but it did say sine of x over cosine of x. Let's read that one more time just to see. Four, five, math content tan of x equals sine of x over cosine of x. Yeah, so for some reason it is a little ornery with the tangent notation, but it gets the point across and it comes across perfectly in Braille. So I'm going to do control N. Bottom of file, five, math con enter. Okay, so now um, let's do some a simple thing that you might do in calculus because this can handle most calculus notations. Not all, I'll get into that in a minute, but it can handle most. So I'm going to do number six. Six, period, space. Okay. Braille math editor, equation edit. So now, right here, we're going to do the integral of 3x squared dx equals x cubed plus c. Of course, we have to do our plus c, as anyone who has taken calculus knows. If you don't know, look up Calculus Rhapsody on YouTube. All right, so let's do our integral sign. That's two, three, four, six. So integral. 3x dots two, squared. Five. Dots one, th dots two, three. Dots five. Dots, dots one, three, four, six. Have our integral 3x squared dx. Space. Equals. Dots four, dots one, space. X Dots one, three, four, dots, dots, dots five. Plus. Dots three, four, dots six. Dots one, four. C. So let's hit enter. Microsoft Word document. Microsoft Word document. Braille math editor. Five. Math content C at windows of arrow. Bottom of file 6, math content integral 3x squared dx equals x cubed plus c. 
And you hear it, it reads it perfectly. It says integral 3x squared dx equals x cubed plus c. Let's look at it again. Five, six, math content integral 3x squared dx equals x cubed plus c. Perfect. Bottom of file, sit, enter. All right, so as you can see, you can write. Um, Your battery is running low, close button, alt plus c. My bad. All right. There we go. So as you can see, you can write several different levels. Uh, you can write math expressions in several levels of difficulty using this Braille math editor. It will not take limit notation or sigma notation, which is how you write limits and sums. This is pretty important in calculus, um, even pre-calculus. So in that case, I would suggest having a backup method of outputting your math on this, on your computer. I would probably suggest um, using math type with MaTeX. Perhaps we can do another video on that another time. Um, and I would like to point out that this Braille math editor does not replace working out your problems on a Perkins Braille writer. Even, I, I just took Calculus 2 last semester and I'm going to take Calculus 3 in the spring. Even now, when I'm taking my calculus exams or doing homework, I will work out all of my problems on the Perkins Brailler and then I will copy my work to the computer using this, using my Braille display and either the Braille math editor or LaTeX, which is a code used to write mathematics. Um, and this does take a bit longer, but it is quite a nice proofreading tool, and it ensures that you still have that hard copy math so that you can, quote, see more at a time instead of having to scroll with your Braille display and try to worry about opening the math editor and closing it when you're trying to also think about working your problems out at the same time. You really, when you're working out a problem, you do not want to have any extra distractions if possible because as we all know, the smallest mistakes can throw off the entire problem and we do not want that, especially in an exam or if you're actually doing work um, related to math in your job. So I think that's it for now. I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording and I hope this has been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. You should be able to contact me through the Perkins eLearning website. I'm not sure, 100% sure how that works, but I think you should be able to. Or comment on this video with questions or insights. And I hope this is helpful.